Prac 3 will be to examine uh, water loss in three different species and one of them is the eucalypt and then another one is moss right here and another one you've met in Prac 2 is lichen. Something to note and something to remember is that all of these species are from South Australia. They've been collected quite locally and South Australia is a very arid environment. It dries out um, over the summer. It gets very hot and so how these species deal with water loss is quite important. You should think about their anatomical and physiological differences and you'll be able to answer questions about them. How do these species survive year to year despite the extremely dry conditions. The first thing you'll do is collect a set of these dishes. Uh, these are sample dishes so you need to go and collect your eucalyptus, moss and lichen in these dishes and um, you know as a good scientist that uh, single experiments are very rarely adequate so you should collect three dishes for each and so you have nine dishes in total. Then what you should do is take each of these dishes and weigh the mass because individually they'll be slightly different and so you'll be able to um, zero, set that to zero, measure the mass of the dish 2.291 so write that on the edge of the dish so you can remember what it is 2.291 grams uh, and probably you know right moss number one or whatever it's going to be. Another thing to remember is that to keep your experiment nice and consistent is to always use the same scales. There, there are one or two scales per bench but um, to keep your experiment nice and consistent I'd use the same set of scales every time. Collecting the eucalyptus leaf is straightforward. Um, you want to find a nice full leaf um, that's undamaged if you can and make sure you don't crush it up because we want to be measuring water loss through the epidermis and not through any wounds that you impart to it. So then you'll just drop it onto your dish uh, and you'll find lichen and moss right next door. The lichens are in water to maintain their turgidity and so you want to be measuring water loss from the lichen, not from the surface. And so to get rid of any excess water, so I'd grab a few per sample, just drop them onto a piece of paper and blot the outside dry and that'll be your sample. The moss uh, is next door here and the thing with moss that you've got to remember is that it often comes with associated dirt. I'd just get maybe a 10 cent piece worth and pull off as much of the dirt as possible. You may want to even give it a rinse under the tap and if you do remember that you're wetting the outside of the plant and so perhaps give it a blot on the on the paper. But once you've done that, that's three samples. Remember you've got to do this in triplicate so you have to have three eucalypt leaves, three samples of lichen and three samples of moss. You want to take your first measurement as soon as you set your samples up and so this is lichen number one, the dish is uh, 2.309 grams. Remember to zero your scales first up and then put them in. Wait for it to stop moving around. So that's 2.751 and you can minus that number from your tray number and that's how much the lichen weighs. You'll be taking five measurements all up uh, this is the time equals zero measurement. Just leave them on the bench for half an hour and then you'll take your second measurement. Once you've taken your final recording, uh, you can pack this stuff up. So the eucalyptus leaf, that will go straight in the bin. Uh, the moss we may be collecting. Um, have a look on the sink to see if there's a, a bucket to collect that. And the lichen is really quite precious. Uh, it takes a lot to collect this one. So make sure you, you take it back and put it back into the water.